I'm going to make this as painless as humanly possible. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube like many of my viewers do. And I get easily annoyed by too much talking and too much bullshit, you know, all that wasted time in my life. However, <clears throat> uh, doing some research and some talking with a couple transmission builders, I found an easy way for us that run, or are going to run the 4L80E, um, to convert it to a full manual. Full manual meaning you simply are going to run 12 volts to this harness, and you can run a switched ground to the lockup. You said which was a brown wire, and the only brown wire here in this bunch, you know, that's for a temperature probe it looks like. I'm gonna, but you know the coloring on the harness, the external harness is different. All right, so let me get to the main po portion of it. This red wire is obviously gonna be your 12 volt, so 12 volt source. It needs to be switched to 12 volt, preferably with an inline fuse going to perhaps your fuse box. I would, yeah, you're better off you going right to the fuse box and I would put a 12 volt or a, uh, a fuse in there, maybe a, you got a 10 or 15 amp. You're going to see, and if I believe correctly, this is pin E. Now, I mean, depending on what your transmission you're using, uh, the wiring may be different. I'm not sure it really shouldn't be too much. This transmission is in, from a 94, one ton. So for, for, first and foremost, you're going to have switched 12 volt to your red wire here. And then here's your two solenoids. You have A and B. Off the top of my head, I can't remember which one's which. If I remember correctly. And some of you guys might quote me, and that's okay. I can edit it. A... Is a green wire. Perhaps this is A. I'd have to, like I said, I gotta double check my notes. My memory isn't exactly as great as it used to be. So, A and B. Let's just say this is A, this is B. You got your transmission pressure manifold switch. This has got a bunch of little like rubber buttons in it which are turned on and off by the pressure of the transmission which uh, coincides with your gear selector here, you know, whatever gear you're in, park, reverse, neutral, it activates a switch in here which sends power through the harness to the computer to tell the system what gear it's in. This is how you cheat the system. You can avoid using a computer and you can simply wire it up through here and just use your manual shifter. On this harness you have A, B, and C. From my research and talking to a buddy of mine who built race transmissions and he used to test the only way to test them without a computer or on the dyno to make sure all the gears were working is through the harness he would take the red and the blue that's now this is the internal harness mind you you know you got to find it red and the blue which turns out is oh if I could read looks like R and it looks like N R and N perhaps reverse and neutral, I'm assuming maybe what those would mean. I mean, there's only so many prongs on, there's so many wires on here. So, you want to wire A and B from the manifold, pressure manifold. You want to wire these, you want to wrap them together and solder them to the ground side of solenoid A, which whatever, whichever solenoid A is of these two. So A and B get soldered or connected to the ground side of solenoid A. And C here gets wired to the ground side of solenoid B. I mean, you could butcher it and cut up the wiring, the harness, but I feel that's that would be ridiculous. Best thing to do is, you know, I pulled mine out here just because this is torn up anyways. I'm going to have to order myself a new harness anyways. So, I mean, I pulled it out, and it's also, but I, I, I'm keeping it as a reference. Remember, A and B from the fluid pressure manifold to solenoid A, and C goes to the ground side of solenoid B. And that way, whatever gear you're in, the transmission is in. Full manual, not automatic. There will be no automatic features whatsoever, but be full manual. The other thing to consider, too, 
you will be running full line pressure. Because the pressure control solenoid kind of works uh, the way I, best way I can put it, it's almost like a semi-truck and air brake. When it's not hooked up, you're running full everything, full power, you know, full pressure. It's when you add electricity or you're adding power to this is when it regulates the pressure. There's a way I'm sure you can, you can maybe I'll do it myself, figure out how to wire this into the system as well, into the harness and utilize utilize like a potentiometer or something to, or just a, a simple switch with a resistor in it, you know, for cruising around. So you're running at, you know, 60, 70% full line pressure, maybe a little more than that, depending on your firmness desires. But when this thing's not connected, you have full line pressure. Perfect for racing. I don't know how it's going to be on the street. If you got a fresh transmission with some hardcore clutches with a hardcore, you know, uh, let's just say everything's hardcore, built to the hills, you know, full race. That car will not be fun to drive on the street. But like this pig, a junkyard dog that was rebuilt at some point in its life, taken good care of, it's going to have some pretty firm snappy shifts. And this here, I, I believe this is just the temperature probe for your temperature sensor. You don't need it. You can just cut that out. So, like I said, all I got to do is, best, best thing to do is maybe go online, get the pinouts to tell you which do which. But the key ones to, you're going to need to pay attention to is the red for your 12 volt. Without 12 volts, this transmission won't work. It'll go into limp mode. You know, maybe you'll have reverse in second. Who knows? Red, yellow, green, and then over here, the orange, blue, and red. This is an internal harness. Like I said, I got the plug, and the, color, and the wires are different colors for whatever reason. I don't know why the general didn't decide to keep everything color-coordinated. That was kind of silly. And this, the gray and the purple here, these are for the uh, pressure control solenoid. Uh, some people might call me out and say I, I, I messed up a couple things, you know. This, like I said, I don't have my paper in front of me like I should have. I can't remember which is A and which is B. But it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple thing. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not. I'm going to get a order a new harness and a new external harness. I want everything to be internal, stock internal, just in case I, in the future I want to go with a, a TCI, you know, easy, trans, you know, easy uh, transmission computer, or go with a factory EFI where I'm using the computer to control the transmission. I want it to be plug and play. I don't want to be dropping the pan on this pig when I got it apart. So I'm trying, like I said, I want to, wanted to try to get to the meat and potatoes. I want to, you know, I don't want to be talking too much. I wanted to give you guys information right away how to make it work. So any questions, comments, criticisms, you uh, let me know. Thanks for watching guys.